see how I got Kill Cam. That was sick. Yo. That was nasty. Oh, I thought that was gonna work this time. <laughs> it almost worked. All right, anyways, what's up, guys? Red Rack here, bringing you guys a new video for today. Real quick, before I start the video, I want you guys to give my boy Morris a fat happy birthday. All right, today's his birthday, so I'm gonna link his channel and his Twitter down below. Wish him a happy birthday, and also, he actually made a similar video, coincidentally, he made a similar video talking about Black Ops 4, so I'm also going to link that down in the description, we want to show him some love on his birthday, because he actually talks about some of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about, but I'm going to talk about a lot more trick shot specific stuff, while he talks about like more general stuff on Black Ops 4, but anyways, I actually haven't played anything ever since Black Ops 4 came out, like when the beta was over, I would, it, it's the saddest time, everyone hates that time. When the beta's over and then you don't want to play anything, you don't want to play any other COD, any other game, you just want to play the beta after you had so much fun in it the week one. So hopefully beta servers go up live for weekend two. But guys, I want to talk about some BO4 trick shotting stuff you guys saw in the red team Taj, which by the way, I'm going to have to throw that in the link as well because the feedback on the red Black Ops 4 beta team Taj and the feedback on the recent videos in general is insane. So thank you guys for all the love on the red reserve and everything like that. Your boy had some bangers in the team touch, so once again, gotta plug it twice. Check it out in the description if you haven't already. Now guys, I wanna talk a lot about Black Ops 4 and trick shotting and this and that, honest opinions. Like I said, my boy Moraz talked a lot about the specifics, but I wanna talk about a couple things with trick shotting. The first big question is, will Black Ops 4 have S&D kill cams? Because, well, they do, obviously. I got kill cam for my shots, but not every time you're gonna get a kill cam. And I kind of figured something out that I want to explain with how the kill cams work and hopefully maybe Vondahar saw Sean's tweet because Sean did make a tweet to Vondahar that got like over a thousand retweets about getting a s and final kill cams rather than play the game which by the way the same thing happened on World War 2 when World War 2 first came out it was play the game for s and but then everybody complained enough and people on Reddit were getting angry and then the developers for World War 2 changed it from s and play the game to s and final kill cam so hopefully Vondahar is listening he's got the ears on and he's uh, gonna do the same thing for Black Ops 4. But for now, if you don't have two boxes, because that's one thing I know a lot of people not were triggered, but they were like, damn, like look how easy they can get kill cam because they have two boxes, which is true. If you got a two box and you're playing S and D and you're trick shotting, like some of the gameplay you guys are seeing here, it's pretty easy to get kill cam as long as no one dies together. Because here's how I figured out kill cams work: it goes off a point-based system. So let's say first blood. You get like an extra like plus 50 or whatever. Let's say a kill is 100 and you get a first blood, it's a plus 50. Let's say you get a double kill. That's probably going to be play the game and search and destroy because it was a double kill. So you got extra points for having it be a double kill or something along those lines. Or a headshot with a sniper, for example. So when you're clearing out on search and destroy in Black Ops 4, you want to avoid getting double killed or getting a double kill. And that's common sense. Obviously, if you don't get double killed or get a double kill, you will more than likely end up getting play uh, final kill cam for Black Ops 4 because getting the final kill itself is almost like an objective kill. Getting the final elimination in the round of Search and Destroy is a little bit extra points than getting any other normal kill. So let's say you go the whole round, everyone's just getting a kill. When you're clearing out, you got one guy got a kill here, someone else got a kill here, and nobody got a double kill or nobody got double killed by the enemy team. More than likely, if you hit a trick shot on the last guy, because it was the last guy, you will get the kill cam just because of the way the point base system works. Or if you plant the bomb and the guy is near the bomb and you hit it, which happens all the time. You plant the bomb, the guy goes for the defuse, you go for your shot, you hit it on him while he's going to the bomb or while he's defusing you'll end up getting kill cam because you get extra points for the objective kill which is like defending him getting the bomb or defusing the bomb so more than likely even if 
they don't put final kill cam exactly in uh in search and destroy it shouldn't be too too hard to get final kill cam now it does happen a lot in rounds where it's like oh man that guy got a double kill or someone on your team like yo you got a double kill now there goes the kill cam if we hit oh well that's like we've had a couple rounds like that but i do know like for all three s and d trick shots that i've hit I have gotten final kill cam for every single one just because we avoid getting double killed and we avoid getting a double kill. Even when you're trick shotting, try not to stick too close together because if, if the, the last guy alive, the random kills two people while you're going for trick shots, there goes your final kill cam. So yeah, keep that in mind even if they don't fix final kill cam. Still very easy to get the final kill as your kill cam if you're trick shotting a search and destroy. So yeah, I wanted to clear that that up. Now let's talk about some trick shot mechanics. My boy Morris touched on it a little bit, but um, I'm not gonna lie. I'd say the first day and a half, I was not a fan of the trick shot mechanics. Neither were a lot of my friends and a lot of people, and a lot of people right now still hate it. They don't like the trick shot mechanics, but after playing around with it and uh, figuring out how the mechanics work, same thing with me and a lot of my friends. We actually ended up liking it a lot, a lot. The biggest complaint is that, oh, trick shotting feels clunky, but no, it's just, you gotta trick shot differently. A lot of the new gens that love to just spam the insta swaps like they do on BO3 or Black Ops 2 or, or AW, a lot of those new gens that like to do that sort of trick shotting might not like it, but uh, Sean actually brought up a good point when we were playing, when he uh, hopped on the beta, he brought up a good point talking about how he likes how it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more about, you know, pulling out your equipment and swapping rather than just like insta swap, insta swap, insta swap, back and forth, back and forth, which looks ugly. World War II, for example, loved the game, got very repetitive. Everyone was just, you know, insta swapping to this gun, insta swapping back, hitting the shot, including me. Look at, <laughs> look at all the shots I had on World War II, just insta swaps back and forth, back and forth. But on this game, it's a, it's a lot cooler. It forces you to use your equipment, like for example, a lot of people were saying that there wasn't insta swaps in this game, but I can confirm to you that with certain things, with a trophy system, and with a, um, oh man, I forgot what it was, but I hit an insta swap with it. You know what? I might as well play it on the screen right now if you saw it in the beginning intro or on the red, uh, red reserve team Taj. I'm gonna play that shot right now. Marlin, you're now, you can Marlin, now, you, your Twitch now has milk bag emotes, Sean. Marlin, that's like getting coal for Christmas. <laughs> oh, I hit! Oh, no sick! No sick! No sick! No sick! No sick! That was sick! That was sick! That was sick! Let's go! Twitch.ak No! Yes, yeah, I got kill cam! That was sick! Yo! That was nasty! Yo, that was sick! Yes! Somebody, somebody clip it. Yo, that was somebody sick. So yeah, that was like a stereotypical like shot you would see someone hit like on Black Ops 2. Use the equipment, shoot, insta-swap, and hit the shot. And I did. I hit the Sui on the guy with the shoot, insta-swap. You can't, as far as I know, you can't do like a normal like double tap insta-swap without shooting. Well, you probably can, but the timing is really specific. So for the most part, it's just shoot, insta-swaps like that. But of course, once we get like the concussion, which no one's been able to use because it hasn't been unlocked yet because the level cap on the beta, you never know if insta swapping is going to be good with that. But regardless, it seems like it's doable. I mean, I did it right there. So it's, it's, it's for all you insta swap nerds out there, the hope isn't gone. All right. I just hit an insta swap. There it is. But as far as like trick shot and mechanics in general, it's a it's a very heavily based on just using your equipment and swapping weapons like the swapping is actually decently fast if you have dexterity it's not as fast as say infinite warfare but it's pretty damn fast you can swap and then you can also like use your equipment before your swap even finishes and if you do it at the right timing you can hit almost like an over the shoulder kind of like what i was going for in some of the gameplay you saw and like this shot i hit that i'm gonna play it right now oh i hit oh. yay let's go yeah. That was cool. Two shots, one game? Let's Two shots, one game? Finally, bro. The over the shoulder? Let's go, Yeah. Go on, bro. Yeah. All right, so last thing I kind of wanted to wrap it up with is the shield. Everybody and their mother is complaining about that whole shield specialist. The moment you get shot, they got shield, and it takes forever to kill them, even though time to kill is already insanely, stupidly 
too much, but the shield just makes it even worse. So everybody, even non trick shotters on Reddit are complaining about that shield, which is good because they did mention that they were going to look into fixing that. So hopefully they make the shield weaker or they make it less, or maybe they make it prone to snipers or not prone. They make it like not work with snipers. So if you got a sniper, you'll still kill him. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool if that happens, but everybody hates the shield. Now there are like attachments for the sniper where you basically shoot straight through shields it's full metal jacket essentially you just shoot right through their shield it makes no difference whether or not they have it you're gonna hit or hit marker because it doesn't mean you're not gonna hit marker with it it just means if they have shield it gets ignored by your shot but i mean regardless if you're gonna get a hit marker you're gonna get a hit marker whether or not they have the shield on if that if that kind of makes sense hopefully that makes sense but yeah, I did a lot of like experimenting myself with it to kind of figure out the mechanics of it. And all I can say is that if you're feeling lucky, then you um then you use the laser sight attachment and try to hit without the shield, you know, penetrating perk or attachment. But if you're not feeling lucky or if you know that the enemy is typically running that shield on every class, then make sure you got a class where you can actually have the attachment or the um yeah, the attachment that shoots through their shield. But other than that, it's not a big deal, but I know a lot of my friends got hit markers, some pretty sick hit markers on some guys because they had on that shield attachment, which absolutely does suck. But I mean, it's whatever. It's going to happen. You just got to it's got to switch classes to a, a class that could uh, have that attachment. So yeah, other than that, that's going to do it for the video today. Hope you guys did enjoy. I hope I could explain a little bit about trick shotting and that sort of things. I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. I love it more than Woodward too, just because it isn't just spamming your insta swaps. I just, I love the mechanics of this game. All the complaints that people said are, they're completely thrown out the window once you actually figure out how to go for good shots on this game, which is pretty cool. So other than that, make sure you guys listen to what I said about those kill camps. I don't want you guys to hit no bangers and then not get kill cam. That'll suck. So that's the biggest concern. Hopefully they add it. If not, oh well, we're just going to have to deal with it. So yeah. I will be uh, tweeting and making videos asking you guys for clips after the next week's beta because I want to do like top plays and other videos where I look at you guys' clips and all that stuff. So yeah, once again, it's been Red Wreck, and I'll catch you guys later. Kill camp. Oh, for real. If somebody gets built, we have to jump out. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ooh. Oh, did you hit? That was cool. Stay in the zone. Did Going you hit? Yeah, that was cool. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> special. Let's go, Red Wreck. Let's go, Red Wreck. Somebody clip it. Oh, oh fuck fuck I don't know. Let's go, Marlin. You're now. You can now. Marlin, you, you, your Twitch now has milk bag emotes, Sean. Marlin, that's like getting coal for Christmas. <laughs> oh, I hit! Oh, oh. that was sick! 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 Let's go. Twitch. Ak. No. Yes. Yeah, I got kill cam. That was sick. Yo, that was nasty. Yo, that was sick. Yes. Somebody, somebody clip it. Yo, that was sick.